Well, hello, hello, and greetings, friends. This is Damian Johnson. I am one of the co-founders of the Black Entrepreneurs Institute, and it's been a little while since I've dropped in with you, and I, I, I really believe that you only speak when you have something to say. And I had a really powerful experience this weekend because I had an opportunity to connect with some phenomenal entrepreneurs, some CEOs, and we had a chance to collaborate about our businesses. And I was able to get some critical insight into my business as well as share feedback with them about their business. So it had me thinking about the power of connection. And so as I was thinking about, about connection, I said, you know what? I think this is a, this, these are a couple of nuggets that are really worthwhile sharing. So I just want to drop in with you tonight just to, just to talk about the power of connecting with like-minded people, being in a space where you can get feedback and give feedback. Now, let me just say this. Uh, you know, my favorite book says that iron sharpens iron. And that all has to do with connecting with, with like-minded people. But the reality is, the ability to connect, it really starts with an understanding of the value of people. Because friends, let me tell you, as entrepreneurs, I, I don't care what your goals are, connecting can help you. Why? Because connecting increases your influence in every situation. Here's the thing. People cannot succeed in life without communicating or without connecting effectively. If you're going to be able to build your business and have the success that you want to enjoy as an entrepreneur, it is going to take the building of relationships. Yes, you're going to have to work hard. Yes, you're going to have to put in a lot of hours. And certainly if you're an entrepreneur, you understand that this is not a 40 hour a week gig, at least not in the beginning, right? You're going to have to put in the time, but hard work is not enough. And are you going to have to do a good job? Of course you are. That, that is indispensable because we believe in providing service and products with excellence, but it's not enough just to do a great job. If, if we want to be successful, then we really need to learn not just how to communicate, but how to effectively how to really connect with others. Now, here's the thing, you know, um, one, of, one of my favorite books is Life is Tremendous, and it's by Charlie Tremendous Jones. And in that book, he, here, here's one of the things that really jumped out at me that he said. He said that you will be the same person in five years as you are today, except for two things, the people that you meet and the books that you read. The people that you think about that for a second, when you look at your current environment, when you look at your inner circle, when you look at the people that are that you are surrounded by, are you really connected with people that can help you get to where you want to go? Look, not knocking the people that you connect to because we all have friends, but let's face it, not everyone that we are walking with is going in the same direction that we are. So what I wanna suggest to you is that connecting is really, really, really important. So here, I just wanna drop and just give you a couple of quick nuggets, right? Here's what I can tell you from my own experience, that connecting, it can make or break you. My first job in college, in college, came through some connections, some relationships that I had built. My first professional job in investment banking came through a connection at my college that, that found out about a position opening up and, and, and sent word back to the college. My first paid speaking engagement, that came through a relationship. It was a relationship that opened the door, people that I connected with. I remember the first time I went and facilitated training by myself and got paid for it. And I remember my first leadership training, my first church development training. All of those things came through relationships, people that I had built connections with. Even when I think about my first paid coaching client, every single major move I've made in my life it all can it, it all boils boils down to relationships people that i connected with so what i want to share with you is that if you want to succeed you must learn not just how to communicate but how to connect with others now what exactly is it that i mean when i say connect folks i am talking about con connecting is the ability to identify with people and relate to them in a way that increases your influence with them why is that important? It's important because the ability to communicate and to connect with others 
is a major determining factor for reaching your potential. To succeed, you must be able to work with others and you must be able to connect with others. And so I just want to encourage you with that because, you know, I also saw this article in the, in the Harvard Business Review and, and here, is, here is what it said. It actually said that, uh, that let's see here, there we go. So the, the article in the Harvard Business Review actually said that the number one criteria, the number one criteria for success in, there we go, the number one criteria for success, for criteria for a promotion for professionals is the, uh, the number one criteria for advancement and promotion for professionals is the ability to communicate effectively. It really, really is. So when we talk about communicating effectively, what we're talking about here is connecting. We have got to be able to connect. And so if you learn how to connect better, I promise you it would open doors and it would change your life. Let, let me give you an example of this. I recently read a story about a woman named Linda Kaplan Thaler who was speaking at a leadership conference. If you have never heard her name, this is the lady that came up with the Aflac commercials, right? Now, ironically, Aflac is today is recognized is one of the most recognized uh, names in the world and brands in the world, all because of that annoying duck. I don't know about you, but uh, when I watch the Aflac commercials, I find it really annoying. But anyway, the story th that that I read about was about how how Linda Kaplan Thaler was able to connect with Warren Buffett, the great investor. And she was speaking at a leadership conference, and she said that at the event you would only get ten minutes with Mr. Buffett. And you know what she did? She studied up about him in preparation for her 10 minutes with him. And she found out that cherry Coke was his favorite drink. And so naturally you would expect that because he's made over $11 million with Coke. So that's no surprise that he loves the product, right? But she, so when she came into the meeting with him, they reminded her that she only had 10 minutes. And as she sat down, she handed him the cherry Coke and said, I know I only have 10 minutes, but I figured I would start with your favorite beverage. And as Mr. Buffett popped open the cherry Coke, he looked at her and said, young lady, you can have as much time as you want because no one has ever started an interview with my favorite beverage. And she got to spend an hour and a half with him. What was she doing? What's the moral to the story? She understood that connecting was all about others. So if you want to connect with others, you have to really take the eyes off of yourself and just think about what can you do to connect? The reason I'm sharing this with you is because I know that many of you, this is, we're approaching the midpoint of the year and perhaps you're not really in the place where your business is really getting the results that you really desire. And that's okay. But we, we're, we're getting ready to, to fly into the second half of the year. And I just want to suggest to you that maybe what you need is not to just work harder. Maybe what you need is not more talent, more skills and more resources. Maybe what you need right now is more connections. See, when you think about the word connect, what we're talking about is to join. But to make a connection, it means that you're establishing rapport with the person. And this is so important. If you're an entrepreneur, it's so important because at the end of the day, no matter what your business is, no matter what your product is, if you're an entrepreneur, you are in the business of sales. And so rapport is critical into transitioning a lead into a prospect, a prospect into a customer, and a customer into a client. And here's what I can tell you. It's the rapport that you have with those clients, those clients that you really connect to, that they become your greatest advocates. They're the ones that spread the word. And they're the ones that, that, that help us grow our businesses, right? So connecting is critical. Now, you know, one of my mentors, John Maxwell, says that leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. Well, it, influence has to do with people. So it's all about connecting with people. So serving customers is about connecting. Raising kids is all about connecting. The reality is that everyone wants to, wants to be made to feel connected. Every, all of us want to feel like we are a part of something. And I am convinced more than ever that good communication and good leadership and entrepreneurship, they're all about connecting. So maybe what you need right now is you think about going into the second half and really moving moving your business forward. 
maybe what you really need are better connections. Had, had you given that some thought? Because if you can connect at, connect with others at every level, whether that's one-on-one -on -one or in a group, or maybe even from stage for those of my friends that are out there, speakers, trainers, and coaches, your relationships get stronger when you're better able to connect. Your, your sense of community improves. Your ability to create teamwork increases. Your influence increases. And as your influence increases, you're going to see better results, right? Again, all I'm trying to drop, into, drop in with you and share with you is just an awareness that I had. Just figured I would drop in and share that connecting is truly vital for any person that wants to achieve success. It's essential, absolutely essential to build great relationships. So if if you want to reach your potential in business, talking to my entrepreneurs out there, if you want to reach your potential in business, we've got to focus on connecting and building quality relationships. See, all I can tell you is this. Without connections, it's almost like the picture that comes to my mind is that you're like a nuclear plant, but disconnected from the grid. You've got all this incredible power and all this incredible resources but you don't have an outlet to put them to use. So when you start connecting with others, you actually position yourself to, um, to make the most of your skills, to make the most of your talents, and to be able to really accelerate the business, the growth of your business when you're connecting with others. And so uh, and so that's what I wanted to share with you today. I, I hope that that has helped you. And, and by the way, friends, I want to give you an opportunity, not just to connect, but to but to be in a place where you can collaborate, where you can get ideas and insights and perspective from other people. So here at the BEI, we are hosting our Connect and Collab. I want you to save this date. Put that date on your calendar. It is going to be on Saturday, July 19th. So it's just in two weeks from now, Saturday, July 19th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., uh, we are hosting Connect and Collab. And it's all about collaborative, it's all about creating a collaborative environment and establishing quality connections. And so we want you to be there because I just shared with you the importance of connecting. And so we want you to save this date, save the date, the BEI, the Black Entrepreneurs Institute, Connect and Collab. It's a networking event for entrepreneurs. And trust me, you want to be in the building. You want to be in the room for this experience. And listen, we have got an incredible, absolutely incredible keynote speaker that is coming in the person of Z Esther Browning. Listen, we just interviewed her for the Black Entrepreneurs Institute show uh, last week or the week before. So go watch the show and you will see that during the show, she had so much to share that we said, you know what, we've got to have to bring her back and give and, and let her speak into our, our entrepreneur community. And so remember, uh, you do not have to be a black person to come to this event. You do not have to be a minority to come to this event. This is a networking event for entrepreneurs. So we want you to plan to come Saturday, July 19th. That's in two weeks. Listen, I'm going to put the, the link to register in the comments and you're going to see it scrolling across the screen right now. But uh, I'm going to share the in, share in the comments the, the, the link to enroll. But you want to get registered now. Plan to attend. It's two hours. It's a power two hours. And you want to be in this room for this event because I promise you it's going to add value to you, my friends. So what I'm again, one more time, the BEI Connect and Collab, Saturday, June 19th, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Listen, it's all about connecting. It's all about collaborating. It's all about building quality relationships. And listen, there's no charge. It's completely complimentary. We are just trying to build a community of entrepreneurs because we know that one of us is not as smart as all of us, right? And so when we can create space to build relationships, we can sharpen each other, we can share resources, we can add value to one another and help each other grow our businesses. So anyway, this is Damian Johnson dropping in from the Black Entrepreneurs Institute. Listen, the Connect and Collab was powerful. This is our second one and we want you to come out. So go ahead and get registered now. There is absolutely no charge and we want to see you in the room and tell you what, don't come by yourself. Bring a friend. It is going to be absolutely amazing. So one more time, the BEI, Connect and Collab, come join us. This is a networking event for entrepreneurs. And, and, and by the way, 
even if you don't think of yourself as an entrepreneur, maybe you've got a side hustle and you're realizing that there's some real potential there, but you don't quite know how to take it to the next level, come to the event. So if you're an entrepreneur or a entrepreneur, we want you to see you there, right? So come on out. We'd love to have you be a part of the community and enjoy the festivities. It's going to be a dynamic event and there's no charge for it. So you can spend two hours building some relationships. Come and connect and come and collaborate with us. We'd love to have you. So until next time, my friends, this is Damian Johnson and we will see you very, very soon and hopefully at the Connect and Collab. So until then, bye for now. Yeah.